the Tuolumne River watershed with headwaters starting in Yosemite National Park is comprised of over 1,600 square miles. What once was a pristine watershed with a native assembly of Chinook salmon, rainbow trout, and California roach is now a heavily regulated and drastically altered ecosystem. Currently, there's a struggle for survival between the native fishes and the invasive fishes, such as bass and brown trout. Damn! In watersheds where dams are present, we see changes to natural flow regimes. These changes affect characteristics such as nutrients, temperature, and sediment transport, which play a huge role in species composition. This is Tuolumne Meadows, the upper portion of the watershed where the headwaters start. The river here has a predictable natural flow regime. It's generally colder in the winter, with lowest flows in the summer. While sailing earlier today, we came across a rainbow trout who wanted to show us his crib. Yo, this is my pad up in Twalmy Meadows. Come check it out. I got slow moving water to hang out on. A nice, chill temperature. A natural flow I'm familiar with. Oh, and this is the nice, well sorted gravel I spawn on. So, what did the salmon say when he hit a wall? Damn! Let's move on to the main of Twalmy River, downstream of several dams which alter habitat. This rainbow trout is confused. Why? Because my habitat changes drastically every day, which would have historically taken months. Temperature and flow constantly fluctuate, which is very disorienting. This gives a competitive advantage to foreign fishes like the brown trout. Also, when the water begins to rise, it kicks up all the fine sediment, making it hard to find food. We are now at the Clavy River. Just upstream, the main stem Tuolumne. These two rivers are in very close proximity to each other, yet they are very different. The clavy is unregulated, which is why we find primarily native healthy fishes such as pike minnow and rainbow trout in this reach. Let's now go down to the lower Tuolumne River, below the new Don Pedro Dam. Here is our fat friend, the largemouth bass. Here the water is warm, slow, consistent, just how I like it. It gives me the competitive advantage over all the other native fish. Due to these habitat changes, invasive fish now dominate in the regulated lower Tuolumne River. Native fish are beneficial because they evolved in an ecosystem that relied on their presence. Loss of a top predator can cause a tropic cascade negatively affecting multiple other native species. We see dams hurt the native species. So why do we have them? Water supply. Flood protection. Hydropower. Recreation. Accounting for all trade-offs, it all comes down to dams and the amount of water they are releasing. So what can we do to compromise? Create a flow regime with the priority of maintaining a sustainable natural ecosystem. Thanks for watching Team Hot Dam. And if you've got a better punt, let me know. <laughs>